In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to use a program called XNView. It's free and downloadable from the internet, and it's used to manipulate or change photographs. We'll start off by locating a photograph. We're going to use this one. There's some information here on the side, and in particular the file size. The file size here is over 4 megabytes. If you were to insert this picture into a Word or Publisher or PowerPoint uh, document or presentation, you'd be inserting all this information into your document, making the document file size increase that much, making it very difficult to copy, very difficult to work with. And that's the main reason that we need to resize the picture before we put it in your presentation or your document. Let's start off by double-clicking or opening the picture. There it is. Notice the toolbar changes. There's various things you can do here. I'd like to go up to View first and select something called Real Size. Notice that the people seem to disappear, but they really haven't. If I use the scroll bars and go down, you have a sense of just how really large this picture is and why we need to make it smaller. So I'm just going to change the size on the screen by using the mouse. To resize this, simply go to Image and choose Resize. There, it's divided into two sections, Screen Size, Print Size. If you're using PowerPoint, you're only interested in Screen Size. If you're using Publisher or Word, Print Size is what you want. Right now, if you were to print this on a very, very large uh, printer, it would print 45 inches wide. We need to resize this, say for a PowerPoint or a publisher presentation, down to say maybe three inches. We don't want it to take up too much space. So I select here, choose three inches. Notice the height automatically changes to keep it proportional. I click OK. And it looks a little small, but let's go back and change it back to real size. That picture now is exactly three inches. If you were to print it, and measure it on a piece of paper, it would be three inches. Let's save it. This is the original file name. If I was to click uh, Save right now, it would destroy the file with no hope of ever getting it back. So I'm just going to change the file name to add the word small to it and click Save. I want to go back and open this. Go back to the folder. And you can see here that the original picture is 4.3 megabytes, but because we've resized it down to 3 inches, the file size is only 25 kilobytes. So that's how to resize a picture. The other option we have is to crop a picture. I'm going to go back to the original one, which was 4.2 megabytes, open it up again. And I can see here that we have a lot of background information and foreground information that really doesn't add to the picture. So I simply draw a cropping frame around the information that I'd like. I can use the handles at the top and bottom to make adjustments. And I can even move the entire frame around. Once I'm happy, I go up to Edit and choose Crop. If I go back to View and choose Real Size, again, everyone seems to disappear. And that's because all you've done is taken a little bit of the picture, but the picture still is huge. So not only do you need to crop, now you need to resize. So we go back to Image and choose uh, Resize again. And we're going to change it to 3 inches. If you were to print this right now, it would be exactly 3 inches width. We'll save it. I'm going to uh, change the name again because I don't want to destroy the original and I'll call this one Cropped. Click Save. I'm going to open again that folder. And we can see we have our three pictures. The original, the big one, 4.3 megabytes. The small, 25 kilobytes. And the cropped, 19 kilobytes. These files, these pictures, will now go smoothly into any document you want without adding a lot of file size bloat. So that's how to resize and crop a picture using XNView.